Welcome to Unit 4, Britain, Australia, New Zealand. Today we're dealing with Lesson 7, Australian Icons. We have already touched upon the topic of Australian symbols, haven't we? But today we are going to find out even more interesting things about the country. So right now I'm asking you to have a look at the pictures and say what these pictures have in common. Which of them is the Australian national flag, the Australian coat of arms, the Australian Aboriginal flag, a poster of Australian popular icons. Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's check. Definitely, this is the Australian national flag. The second picture, the Australian coat of arms, the Australian Aboriginal flag, a poster of Australian popular icons is the last one. Coat of arms means yoke. Let's go into detail and complete the descriptions of Australian national symbols. Pause the video for a minute. Then move on to the second part of the text because the text is divided for your convenience. You have a minute to insert the missing words, which are the Southern Cross, the Union Jack, the Commonwealth Star, State, Borden Wattle, a shield, the kangaroo, background. If you find it more convenient, you can open your books at page 114 and read the text there. This is the second part of the text. Now let's listen and check your answers. I believe that you've inserted them correctly. Now let's listen and check. Unit four, lesson seven, exercise two B. Hello, today we're going to talk about the Australian national symbols. Certainly the first question will be about the national flag. The Australian national flag has three elements in a blue background. The Union Jack acknowledges Australia's historical links with the United Kingdom. Below the Union Jack is a white Commonwealth star. It has seven points representing the unity of the six states and the territories of the Commonwealth of Australia. The Southern Cross is shown on the right-hand side of the flag. This constellation of five stars can be seen only from the Southern Hemisphere and is a reminder of Australia's geography. Another national emblem is the coat of arms, and here we immediately recognize the unique Australian animals. Why was the emu chosen for the coat of arms and not, for example, the koala, which is a true symbol of Australia for many? The Australian coat of arms consists of a shield with the symbols of all the six states. The kangaroo and emu are the native animals that hold the shield with pride. Some say the kangaroo and emu were chosen to symbolize a nation moving forward. This is based on the common belief that neither animal can move backwards easily. So that is the reason why they are artificial <laughs> symbols. It's not really so. The matter is that Australia has never adopted any official formal emblem. By popular tradition, however, the kangaroo and emu are widely accepted as such. What about a floral symbol? The golden wattle, also found on the coat of arms, was proclaimed the official national floral emblem in August 1988. Above, there is the Commonwealth star. The national colours are green and gold. There is one more official flag in Australia. Could you explain what it represents? Yes, that is the Australian Aboriginal flag. It represents Indigenous Australians and is one of the official flags of the country. All right. OK, I believe that your answers are correct. Point one, background. Two, the Union Jack. Three, the Commonwealth star. Four, states. Five, the Southern Cross. 
Six, a shield. Seven, the kangaroo. Eight, golden wattle. Now let's switch to the next slide. I would like you to listen to the recording again and answer the questions. So now we are concentrating on answering the questions. Let's listen again. Unit four, lesson seven, exercise two B. Hello, today we're going to talk about the Australian national symbols. Certainly, the first question will be about the national flag. The Australian national flag has three elements in a blue background. The Union Jack acknowledges Australia's historical links with the United Kingdom. Below the Union Jack is a white Commonwealth star. It has seven points representing the unity of the six states and the territories of the Commonwealth of Australia. The Southern Cross is shown on the right hand side of the flag. This constellation of five stars can be seen only from the Southern Hemisphere and is a reminder of Australia's geography. Another national emblem is the coat of arms. And here we immediately recognize the unique Australian animals. Why was the emu chosen for the coat of arms and not, for example, the koala, which is a true symbol of Australia for many? The Australian coat of arms consists of a shield with the symbols of all the six states. The kangaroo and emu are the native animals that hold the shield with pride. Some say the kangaroo and demu were chosen to symbolize a nation moving forward. This is based on the common belief that neither animal can move backwards easily. So that is the reason why they are our official symbols. It's not really so. The matter is that Australia has never adopted any official faunal emblem. By popular tradition, however, the kangaroo and demu are widely accepted as such. What about a floral symbol? The golden wattle, also found on the coat of arms, was proclaimed the official national floral emblem in August 1988. Above, there is the Commonwealth star. The national colours are green and gold. There is one more official flag in Australia. Could you explain what it represents? Yes, that is the Australian Aboriginal flag. It represents Indigenous Australians and is one of the official flags of the country. Mm -hmm. Let's go through the answers and see whether you've managed to catch all the necessary information. What does the Southern Cross symbolize? This is question number one and the answer is, it's a reminder of Australia's geography. Number two, why were the kangaroo and emu chosen for the coat of arms? Are they official faunal symbols of the country? The answer is, the kangaroo and emu are the native animals that hold the shield with pride. Some say the kangaroo and emu are chosen to symbolize a nation moving forward. This is based on the common belief that neither animal can move backwards easily. They are widely accepted as official faunal symbols. However, Australia has never adopted an official faunal emblem at all. Three. When was Australia's official floral emblem chosen? The Golden Wattle was proclaimed the official national floral emblem in August 1988. Four, what are Australian national colours? The national colours are green and gold. Five, what do the colours of the Australian Aboriginal flag represent? They represent Indigenous Australians. Then to the next, Exercise. In exercise three on page 115, you can read about popular Australian symbols such as iconic Aussie brand, iconic institutions, icon activity, nature icon, iconic figure, art and culture icon, iconic face. If it is convenient for you, you can read from the slide, or as I have already mentioned, open the books at page 115. You can pause the video, of course, to do this exercise. The text is divided into two parts. It's time to check. Let's see what is what. Banjo Patterson 
is art and culture icon. The bush is nature icon. Anzac is iconic institution. Drover is an iconic figure. Qantas is an iconic Aussie brand. Crocodile is a nature icon. AFL is an iconic activity. Wow, I believe that you've paid your attention to the words which are listed at the very bottom of the page. They are the bush, drover and herd. By the way, take into account that icon means symbol, znakova kultura, while iconic means kultovi. The thing is that um, these icons are not the only ones. Let's have a look at some other Australian icons. They are gum tree, kookaburra, barbecue, surfing, Sydney Harbour Bridge, and merino sheep. Okay, you can pause the video, match the pictures with their names, and then we will check. The word with an asterisk is harbour, which means govern, port. Let's see. Gum tree is picture number one. Kookaburra, picture five. Barbecue, picture two. Surfing, three. Sydney Harbour Bridge, six. And then Merino Sheep is four. Why are all these things, people and creations iconic for Australians? You are absolutely right. They are iconic for Australians because they are all somehow connected with the country and they are connected with the culture of the country, its heritage, traditions, history, natural, natural world and everyday life of its people. Please look through the video and summarize the information about Australia. And uh, goodbye and see you soon.